Welcome to another video of Walk on the Wild Side and I'm here in a very sunny Blackpool. I'm at the Bishop end of town at the moment and I tell you what, it's a bit chaotic around here. I'm just by Crossley's Bridge. That's the bridge behind me which goes over the, the railway track at Leighton Station and there's been a massive fire at a DWP, DWP offices here, Warbrick site. It's a massive site. I'm a little bit late to the party because I've been really busy actually, but uh, there's been a few others done videos on it. There's been quite a few fires actually in Blackpool lately. There was a fire at the courts again, and uh, there, was all, there was also a, a fire at um, a car garage in Cleveland. But this is the biggest one. It started this morning, yeah, about half two in the morning. Not sure how it happened, but it's causing a lot of chaos around here. Yeah, look at the, all this traffic here, yeah. They must have closed the road off up here. I'm going to take a look and see what we can see. Can you see Blackpool Tower down there? Yeah, so we're due northeast of the tower, yeah, up here in Bispam. Sort of Bispam and Leighton area. And uh, this is Benton Road, and I'll just show you around. Uh, anybody fancy a couch? And an ice cream... Uh, freezer there you go but look at this we've actually got this road here it's a very very busy road this it goes over the bridge which is called it's actually called Plymouth Road but the bridge is called Crossley's Bridge and that's named after the wood mill that used to be down the other side I've actually been here before on a video but that was quite a while ago but anyway just over this bridge is the junction with Warbrett Road. Now Warbrett Road leads all the way to Ginn Square but this is a very sort of bottom end or the top end whatever you want to call it. It's a hill. So we'll go over over here and we'll we'll see what's going on because it's where the entrance to the uh, the DWP site is. Here's a little look at Leighton Station. There you go. That's Leighton train station there. Nice and sunny today. So I'm just coming down the bridge now. And as you can see, they've, uh, they've blocked the left-hand lane. Now that left-hand lane would normally go onto Warbreck Road. And that's why it's so heavy down here. Yeah. A couple of cars going down the left lane. Um, I think you can, yeah, you can actually turn down there. You can turn into a little side road, but you can't go down Warbreck, Warbreck Road because that's where the entrance to the um, the site is, and it's all blocked off. But as I look this way, check it out. There's a water tower there, and that is on the top of Warbreck Hill, or should I say, originally Knoll Hill, the highest natural point in Blackpool. But we're heading down this way now to check out what's going on I'm not sure how much I can show you from the outside I might have to send a drone up <laughs> so we might I might have send a drone up actually we'll see but yeah it's uh, always seems to be going on here in Blackpool doesn't it so I'm not sure whether pedestrians are pedestrians allowed down there got stop and go boards here look Look at that there. Are we allowed to go down here? Check it out. There you go. Now this fire, it's about 12 hours or so from when I'm filming this now, it's been raging for. And I tell you what, it really has devastated the offices, yeah. I've seen some pictures of it. So this is Warbrett Road now. So if I was to walk all the way down here now, I would get to Ginn Square. Yeah. You see the water tower there, that's at the very summit of course. And just up here is the main entrance to the site. This is gonna be a massive operation because like I say, the the uh the site is absolutely huge. It really is. 
it's also where the driving test center is as well but it's been closed for a long time i believe it's been closed and all the the civil servants that were working here are going to be working in the new office building that they've just built in town so there you go this place is actually as far as i know it's been closed for quite a while but as we head this way we can actually see now look at that we can see see some of the buildings there there's like a i think there's like a gatehouse or something to let people in check it out look got some specialist units here for this yeah so this is the entrance to the uh, the Warbreck Hill site for the DWP check it out and like I say I'm not sure how much more I can see from out here without sending a drone look at that hose there look at the size of that hose wow that is amazing and we've got another fire truck up there on the hill look at that there wow it's all going on here in Blackpool so we're looking up the hill here looking towards the west there and as you can see they've got this massive hose here down the road look at that there wow you see that road there that road is called Worley Road and that road as well also leads to the promenade it leads to the part of the promenade where the Derby Baths used to be and uh, if you're coming down this road now and you want to turn into there well you're not going to be able to so you're gonna to have to get there from the other side okay I've just come back here to the junction again and I think I'm gonna try and see if I can find somewhere where I could uh, send a drone up and we'll get a look at the side shall we from the air let's try that shall we check it out it's the blackpool water tower i've never actually been this close to the water tower on a video i'll have to do a video about it won't i anyway this is lays road and it's named after the farm that used to be up here before they built a new housing estate we'll take a little look at that while i'm up here but i've come right around the other side and hope hoping to get um a little look into that uh, that site from up here because we're quite high up here and uh, i might send the drone up if i can find a bit of space to send it up but uh, yeah check it out the water tower there first time i've been this close on the channel and as you can see they've got uh, well <laughs> they're not short of water here are they this is probably where they're getting all the water from for the uh, for the the hoses but anyway just down here is uh, where I'm hoping to get uh, a better look we'll see shall we so I'm heading into a housing estate called Regency Gardens and I remember 20 25 years ago when they built this place it kicked off big style because like I said there used to be a farm up here called Lay's Farm so it's all green belt you see and people around here they really kicked off when they built this house in the state but that's what happens all over the place isn't it they have to build houses somewhere didn't they and uh, anyway it's all full up now and everyone's bought the the swanky i tell you what the proper swanky houses up here we'll, we'll see a bit of them in a minute but uh, i'm hoping to get a, a bit of a view on the other side of that site let's check it out shall we this is it now look regency gardens it sounds swanky doesn't it and I think it is oh I can see the bowling fells over there in the distance wow I'm hoping that up here I might be able to uh, get a little bit of space and uh, send the drone up yeah look at this yeah so here's a little look at Regency Gardens we've got a bit of a green space going on here I'm not sure how much these houses are worth but they do look pretty swanky what do you think they're not going to be cheap around here now this path which runs right down the side leads right up to the perimeter fence of the site let's have a look down here shall we can we see anything from this side 
let's have a look so this is a border fence here to the site and i've had a look at it on the map and it's massive it's absolutely huge can we see anything through here I can't see a lot from here, to be quite honest. There's a bit of a car park going on there. Let's uh, have a little walk round here, shall we? Let's carry on round. I've never been down here before, by the way. It's the first time I've ever been down down here before. I've been to Regency Gardens before, but not down this path. So it's something new for me as well. But we've got a big, massive hose going round the outside there. Look. Yeah, look at that there, look. You can see the buildings there. I don't know how long it's been closed for, or if there's anything in there, like computers or paperwork or anything like that. I've got no idea. Oh, but I'll tell you what, I can see a bit of damage up here, folks. Oh, look at this. I don't know if you can see that, but I can see a, a burnt out roof up this way. Wow. Check this out, they've taken someone's fence out there to put the hose through. Have they plugged it into the tap? What do you reckon? <laughs> it actually goes through to a street, actually. Look at that there, look. They must have had to go into a, a mains down there, look. Wow, so this is like the bottom end of Regency Gardens here. Look at that there, yeah. What do you reckon? I'm making my way round here. Let's look, look through here, you can see. You can tell it's sort of been abandoned for a while because the gardens are all going a bit wild. But it is a huge site. Absolutely huge. And there must have been thousands and thousands of people that worked here over the years. But I'm making my way round now to the bit where the main part of the damage is. That's the boiler house over there. Look, can you see that? It says boiler house. keep going shall we we're getting to the bit now the interesting bit might not need a drone at this rate <laughs> well there's a lot of uh, scrub land here look at that there look at all that scrub land up here get some houses built on it <laughs> oh look at this now folks yeah now we've got it look at this look at that so this section here that has been pretty much wiped out boiler house one it says there now they're probably going to build a load of houses on here aren't they let's face it they're going to build a load of houses on this site here Let's go and take a little look at this fire engine up here with the ladder on it. Yeah, I can actually smell it now. Look at this. See that over there? Look at that. Wow. Look at all that section there, which has been pretty much destroyed. can't believe it there's even more down here there's another section down here as well look at this wow look at that there this looks like one of the entrances there must have been loads of uh, entrances wasn't there I mean I never came to this place the only place the only time I came here was to go to the driving test center but that was that was by the gatehouse which I went to first you didn't actually come into this part here to go there and that was way back in 1988. Check it out, they've even got a United Utilities water wagon here. They must have had to get water in on a wagon, yeah. Wow. I just want to show you over the back, it looks like they've cleared this bit section here for housing. What do you reckon? Look, this is right over the back, the back end. So we're looking into Bisbon from this side. Look at this here seagulls having a bath over there look now we'll be able to see what's going on from up there here we go look at this this will be a better view won't it now then look at that 
now you can see how big the site is wow look at that look at it let's let's start from this side shall we so this is like the bottom end and this looks like where the fire started as you can see so it looks like it's spread from this side oh look at that it's spread so far and i think it started about two o'clock in the morning or something like that you know i think this place looks a bit like a prison you know don't you think but there's quite a lot of it up there which looks like it's undamaged what do you think so it looks like most of the place is, uh, has got away with it what do you reckon but as you can see it is a huge site and we're looking now towards where i was before where the entrance is over that way there look well, that's where i was before the main entrance there over that way there yeah sort of so this is it this is the warbreck site for the the dwp which has been well i mean they're gonna knock the place down aren't they and build houses on it so um but still it's a fire isn't it and uh, it's just one of the many fires isn't it that we've had in blackpool isn't it mysterious a little bit mysterious yeah but there you go there you go we can get to see it much better from up here can't we check it out yeah i won't go too close i'll tell you what i'll go a little bit higher up shall i there you go let's have one last look around shall we massive car park as well i mean it is huge imagine working in there who worked in there someone must have worked in there it's massive i think it looks like a prison though don't you wow so there you go that's how it looks here It's going to fast forward the demolition now, I think, isn't it? The seagulls don't like the drone, I'm telling you. They do not like the drone, the seagulls. Let's, let's bring her down. We've had a little look. I need to get this out more often, don't I, really? What do you reckon? It's a DJI Mini Mini 2, by the way. Very, very handy drone. Landing. There we go. Ooh, there we go. Check out this blue sky, isn't it awesome? And also, we've got some green space here in Blackpool. Can you believe it? Until they build houses on it, that is, yeah. And it's just up here with the other side of the water tower it's a part of blackpool i've not really covered very much on the channel but there you go that was a dwp building fire warbreck hill site here in blackpool looks like it's taken out quite a lot of the building but from the air it looks like most of it has survived so uh i'm not really sure about the situation inside whether they've got a lot of paperwork in there computers or equipment or anything but i know it's been earmarked for demolition for quite a while and don't forget the people that were working here are going to be moving to the new site in town so there you go anyway that's it for this video i hope you like it if you do hit the like button and also hit subscribe and tick the bell for notifications of new videos and i'll see you again on the next one